Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna do like a little, not a vlog. I guess I can do a vlog, but it won't be really exciting because I'm literally gonna be in my house just cleaning up and doing some stuff and trying to get into a new routine. Um, just a little life update. I have still been trying to do intuitive eating, become an intuitive eater, um, but honestly like, I went on vacation to Texas, like y'all saw the um, vlog of us driving. I didn't film anything in Texas, but I ate way too much food. Um, I'm just, and now, like even up to now, like I've been home for a week and I feel like the vacation kind of continued until, actually I've been home for two weeks, three weeks, two weeks. Um, and it, it felt like the vacation continued when we got home. So like, I just don't feel so hot. Honestly, I feel really uncomfortable in my stomach area, like nauseous. I don't know, it's like a weird feeling. Um, so today I decided that I'm gonna start trying to be more mindful and intentional about what I'm putting into my body because I'm gonna be real with you guys. Like obviously I've put on weight for my lowest. Like I don't, I love myself, but I don't love how my body looks and feels right now. Um, I don't know how much I've put on. I can just feel that I've put it on. I can feel it in my, the way my clothes fit and stuff. And honestly, I don't even wanna know how much I weigh. The last time I checked how much I weighed, I was up 20 pounds from my lowest. 20 25 pounds um but i just know that it's more important not what the scale says but the habits that i'm creating for myself so today i want to get into the back kind of back into my old routine of journaling how i'm feeling and being intentional about what i'm putting into my body but not restricting myself um as much as i was before i know i can't go back to calorie counting or macro counting um for my own mental health because i am very obsessive and I'm a perfectionist, so I just feel like I always have to be on top of myself. And then that leads to me being super restrictive and then going crazy on the weekends. And I just don't want to live my life in that cycle. So I think that just by being more mindful about what I'm putting into my body and eating in a way that's going to help me like achieve the body I want and like feel better, but without um, tracking every single thing. Because I think it is possible to like eat in a way to, that makes you reach your goals um, without having to track every single thing that you put into your mouth. It's just really um, time consuming and just I feel like really unnecessary unless like you're doing, you feel comfortable doing that, which honestly like I did it for so long, I could totally do it again. But I don't, when you're married and you have another person you you need to feed, like I don't have to, but I, I it's my husband and I wanna like feed him and I don't put anything on him at all, but it's just really annoying having to constantly weigh out everything for every recipe and just like it's just annoying i hate it i hate the time that it takes up when i can just throw something in a pan and cook it and then just watch my portions of it eat on smaller plates i know how to do that stuff i did this whole lifestyle change and journey for a long time now so um i just really want to change my life and the habits that i've um undone and like i want to rebuild them for myself because when i was at my thinnest i did feel really good in my body but the ways that i was getting there was unhealthy for me mentally if that makes any sense so we're just gonna get back into like trying to do my best to be healthy again and uh fuel my body properly and so i figured i would do like a what i eat in a day slash a little vlog of like what i do throughout the day um and like i said i'm not perfect i am not going to restrict anything that i want but i am going to be really making sure that i watch portion control and i'm mindful about what i'm putting into my body because i do want it to feel good because honestly i feel like shit like if i'm being honest from how i've been eating um especially over the last couple of months i just felt like i just not that i didn't care because i do care about what i put in my body but it was just like i, I was eating past fullness way too much and i can feel that now in my body and it does not feel good um so i want to eat like i said in a way that makes me feel good and that I just, I, the biggest change I've seen in myself is the lack of energy I, I have. I'm just always groggy and tired. And I know it's because of the amounts of food and what I've been eating. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try to be more mindful, like I said. And also, um, I have donut sticks. I love donut sticks and I have zebra cakes. And I'm just being honest, like I love those things. I have to have something sweet every night because I have a sweet tooth and it just, it really ends my night on a good note for me. Um, but my biggest thing is working on portion control. So usually I can have like one or two and I'm good, but sometimes that one or two turns into three or four and I, I eat past, way past my fullness 
and uh, I don't feel so hot. So that's something I really want to work on. You know, when I even when I was tracking, and I'm being completely 100% honest, when I was tracking, and on the weekends I would have my cheat meals, I would go buy cookies, like a six pack of cookies, and eat the entire six pack in one night. I something that I've I've um, been able to achieve with my like intuitive eating journey, or just I don't even want to call it intuitive eating because intuitive eating um, is not meant for weight loss. And I know that now. So I want to say I'm trying to become a mindful eater because I do want to be mindful about what I'm eating. But I also have body goals that I still want to achieve and like just feel better and stuff. Um, so what I've been able to do is I bring home baked goods. I make baked goods. Like I put them on my counter in this glass thing I have. And the longest I've been able to leave them there has been four days. And I know that's not a lot. I honestly, I'm trying to like really stretch that. But that's a huge accomplishment for me. Be because I used to literally eat them in one night or like two nights because I felt like I needed to get them out of the house so that the next week I could be back on track and doing super well. Um, so that's kind of like a big accomplishment that I've been able to achieve with like food freedom. Um, but like I said, now I'm trying to reel it in a little bit and just be more um, on top of like what I'm feeding myself and, and stuff. So yeah, a lot of rambling. Excuse, excuse like my hair and the way I look. I look raggedy, but I'm about to go work out. Today's an arms day. And uh, I wanna go show you guys. I got a new treadmill for a really freaking good deal. And I'm really excited. So let me go show you guys. All right, so this is the treadmill that we got. Super freaking nice. It even came with the mat. Um, it looks like it's not on the mat, but I promise it is, those little legs. I freaking love it. It inclines up to 15 and declines down to zero. Freaking obsessed. Look how nice it is, y'all. The woman that we bought it from um, barely used it. It's a freaking pre-core one. I think that's how you say the name. I don't know if you can even see, but maybe I go like that. Yeah, so freaking nice. It has user settings for Jake and I. I love it, I love it. The only thing that sucks is like it um, doesn't have a fan, so that's why I put that little fan right there, but that's perfectly fine because this is a freaking $3,000 treadmill. She barely used it. It's extremely heavy, like gym quality heavy, and we got it for $350. So y'all cannot tell me that is not a freaking deal. I swear, the more I record myself, the rougher I keep looking, but it's whatever. My hair's gonna get messed up anyways as I'm working out. So like, yeah, you guys have seen like our whole little garage gym. It's kind of a mess right now. Yeah, boxes everywhere, like Christmas stuff still out because we had to make room for the treadmill. But um, I'm gonna go inside. We actually just bought these things off Amazon called Elephant Tracks. And basically what it does is you take pictures of all the stuff that's in your storage containers and you get download this app and then you put a sticker onto the container and every time you scan the QR code, all the pictures that you took of the stuff in your boxes pops up so that you know what box to get, like pull out if you're looking for something. And that's gonna be really helpful because Jacob is extremely bad at opening up every box and not putting it away when he's looking for some military gear. So this will just help us keep more, like keep ourselves more organized and clean up some of the mess in the garage. You know, we're really limited on space here. Like <laughs> even though we have a three bedroom house, most of the closets are filled with like guitar stuff, and some stuff that I refuse to put outside because I don't want spiders to get on it. And so, yeah, uh, we just have too much crap, to be honest. So that's going to definitely be really helpful. Um, I guess I can show you guys, like, what, what they look like. Um, I'm actually super excited to start using them. But they weren't very expensive either. I think they might have been, like, 7 to 10 bucks. They just basically look like that. So I thought that was really cool. You just put those in the containers and scan it. And, yeah, so... Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to work out, but before I go outside, I wanted to show you guys the pre-workout that I'm drinking. I'm pretty sure I've been drinking this one for a while and I told you guys the last time, but um, this is my favorite flavor right now. It's the Beyond Raw Lit Icy Fireworks. It's so freaking good. I really, really, really enjoy it. And then another thing that I bought recently was the Alani New BCAAs in Sour Gummies, but I'm gonna be honest, this smells like gummy worms. It does not taste that great. Just my opinion. And then um, I feel like I need to burp, but it's not coming up. And then I know it's a lot of supplements from a different companies, but like whatever. And the last thing that I've been taking that I am obsessed with is these greens, the Bloom supplements, uh, greens and superfoods in the flavor citrus. I tried mixing it with juice. It was too much, but mixing with water is so freaking good. It's the best greens I've ever had. You know, I tried the amazing greens from like Walmart or... Um, GNC you can get them from and they're so grainy and gross but those are so good 
they say that they're supposed to help you with like bloating and stuff, which I don't really see a difference in bloating, but you know, it's always good to like have, um, more greens in your diet and it helps me like go to the bathroom regularly. So that's like really cool. They also have a bigger container of it, but I want to try a small one just to make sure I like the flavor and I do a lot. So the next one I buy is going to be the bigger container of it. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my workout over with, take a shower, and then I'll be back for breakfast. I'm done working out, I'm showered. My hair doesn't look that great, but we'll worry about that later. Um, I'm about to make breakfast. I think I'm gonna make a protein smoothie. So what I have right now is just ice cubes and water uh, in my blender. I got a new blender, which I'll flip around and show you guys. It's so freaking cute. It matches my um, KitchenAid mixer. I love it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna add my favorite protein to it, just a scoop of it. And then I'm also going to add I have fresh blueberries um, and I don't want them to go bad. So I'm going to, this one has a little, looks a little weird. Um, I'm gonna add to the blender with it. I'm gonna add some baby spinach. I'm going to add some frozen bananas. Just like this is half, I can't even talk. Two halves of it is literally one banana. So I'm gonna add one of those. And then I have barely any strawberries left. I did have fresh strawberries, but they had mold on them. This is what I get for buying fresh stuff. So I'm gonna use what I have left of that. And then I'm going to do one like spoonful of peanut butter because I think it tastes really good in it and it keeps me fuller longer. And then I'm also gonna make some um, iced coffee with my espresso machine. So I'll show you guys like how I make that in a second. I already have everything out like you can see right there. Um, but first I'm gonna make this smoothie. What you do to me, between me and you, I feel a chemistry, I won't let no one come and take your place, cause the love you give, you can't be replaced, so no one smoothie's done also peep the blender isn't she cute matches that um i'm going to go ahead and pour this into my bucky's cup she's looking a little old and crusty but that's okay it works and then uh that's gonna be my breakfast along with my coffee and for my coffee i'm gonna froth some of this silk um creamer i have i don't have a lot so yesterday i bought this and i just want to show you guys i'm not gonna use it today but I saw this and it was on sale and I was like, dude, that looks like it's gonna be so good. So I'm gonna try it tomorrow and hopefully it's good. And then I'm going to make, which you guys will already be able to see, two shots of my espresso from my Nespresso. So that's one of them. Then there's the other one right there. I also just wanted to tell you guys that um, I have talked about this frother before. It has hot and cold foam. I got it off Amazon. In one of my uh, other videos, I talked about it. I love it. It was kind of expensive. And honestly, I think one of those handheld ones would be just as good. But if you want hot and cold option, like that's definitely the one to get. Um, I'll link it in the bio from my Amazon thing. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make this coffee. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's finished. Hopefully it looks kind of um, aesthetic. I don't know. We'll see. You know, this is a very real channel. So food is just food to me. I don't really care too much about making it look good. And I'm hungry. So I already started drinking this. Um, and it's freaking delicious. So I'm just saying. Um, yeah, let me make the coffee and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. I did forget to mention that I added some almond milk, uh, to the bottom of my coffee. Right now it's looking real nice and pretty. Um, and my little froth is, um, frothing. <laughs> and I'm also going to add a little bit of this no calorie sweetener. I do have the skinny syrups, but honestly, I think this kind of tastes more like, um, a, a coffee shop in my opinion. It's not, it doesn't have any flavor. It's just sweetener. Um, so I added a little bit. And then you know what? I'll keep you on here to show you the little froth. Um, also, please excuse the fact that you can kind of see my bra through my shirt. You know, you should be happy I have one on because to be honest, in my own house, I don't ever wear one. That was a joke. I mean, it's not a joke that I don't wear a bra around my house, but it's a joke that like, you should be happy that I have one on because I'm not that comfortable, you know? Free the nip is good for people who have small boobs. Not really me, but to each their own. So anyway, the froth is now done. I'll stop rambling um, and pour this on to show you guys. 
So I don't know if you guys can even see. Oh no, that didn't work. Let me lift you up. So yeah, that's what that looks like. And now let's pour it on. It's probably not gonna be super uh, cute because I suck, but we could try. Oh, you can't even really see. Ooh, ah, oh, yeah. Damn, I suck. Okay, well, I tried. <laughs> uh, let's lift this up so you guys can see better. Wow, she looks beautiful. Sorry for the crooked angle. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna drink my smoothie. I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm going to journal. Yeah, you like how I wrote that? <laughs> uh, it used to not be a journal, now it is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just kind of relax for a little bit and then when I get up, I'm um, in a little, not when I get up, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> when I'm done uh, journaling and relaxing for a little bit, then I'm going to do some chores around the house and I guess I'll show you guys that since this, this is kind of like a daily vlog. Yeah, my life's not super exciting, but y'all already know that if you've been subscribed for a while. So I see you, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm about to start cleaning, but I did want a little snack, so I'm going to have this built Bar. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and get started on cleaning up my house. I'll go ahead and set y'all up so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and probably just play some music, because I'm not going to be really talking through it. I'm going to put some headphones on and listen to some music. And, um, yeah, we're going to get her done. <laughs>
Okay, y'all, so you guys saw me clean my kitchen and living room, so it's all nice and clean now. I'm gonna charge my phone because it's about to die, and I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up my bathrooms. I highly doubt you guys wanna see me do that. Um, I know I didn't dust anything because we just deep cleaned last week, so today I'm just kind of doing a touch-up so that my house is kind of like refreshed again. Refreshed? That sounded weird. Um, and I, we have like a good start to our week, so yeah, I just did like a top clean and a little boning of my floor i use bona on the weeks that i don't steam mop so like last week when we deep cleaned which is like do the baseboards dust everything i i uh, steam mop my restrooms and my floors in my kitchen and living room but in between i bona them so yeah it's pet friendly for your floors i like it a lot it's basically just like a swiffer kind of thing um and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do my bathrooms and then when i get ready to have lunch i'll go ahead and uh show y'all what i'm eating I actually might have lunch before I do the bathrooms. So let me go ahead and make that and I'll show you. Okay, y'all. So last night, Jacob went ahead and grilled some chicken. So you can see it right there. And I went ahead and made myself like a Chick-fil-A grilled chicken sandwich kind of situation. Um, it has cheese, lettuce, tomato, and Polynesian sauce. And I'll show you guys everything. So yeah, we got this from Walmart, I think. Um, I don't know. Actually, Jacob brought it home. He also got the Chick-fil-A one, but this one's my favorite. And then I have some cut up tomato. Nothing special. And then this is the bread we use. Jacob loves potato bread, so he found it in 100% whole wheat. And then I used um, some Colby Jack cheese. I think this is Colby Jack. Yeah, um, that I got from Walmart. And then some lettuce. So that's literally it. Uh, let's see if I can actually see what it looks like. Oh, it looks pretty good actually. And then I have an apple. I just realized I keep forgetting to tell you guys that I'm also drinking water, but I feel like in all my videos, like all my what I eat in a day videos, it's pretty unsaid. If y'all see this with me, chances are it has water in it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my food, finish cleaning up my house, and then uh, I guess I'll see y'all for dinner. So my stomach's kind of hurting me, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat something. Um, it seems like I've been snacking all day. I think it's because I had a smoothie for breakfast and I didn't actually have a meal. Sorry for the horrible lighting. I don't feel like turning one on. Um, but I'm going to eat this uh, General Tso's chicken we got from Food Lion. I just put it in the microwave. Yeah, nothing special, but it's really good. And then for dinner, I'm gonna attempt to make this HelloFresh meal. This is our first time getting HelloFresh, but we're gonna do, a, what does it say? A creamy lemon butter chicken with Parmesan zucchini rounds and scallion couscous. So it looks really good. I'm excited to try it. Um, and I'll probably make it here like in an hour or so. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this because my stomach's really upset and I'm getting kind of hangry. Um, and then I'll make dinner in a little bit. Here's our finished dinner. It actually looks like crap. That <laughs> sauce, I don't honestly, yeah, I shouldn't have put it on there, but the it burnt in the cast iron, so um, the chicken did, so the sauce is darker than it should be. These look pretty decent. It doesn't look like I plated it very well, but whatever, and the couscous tastes pretty good. So yeah, that's dinner, Diet Coke, water. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Um, I'm going to end the night by eating a donut stick, just a single one. Um, they're honestly my favorite. I kind of want to try to make them, but I don't know if they come out really good, <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like them. So I'm going to go ahead and end my night eating that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was kind of like random, I guess, because like it was 
a, like a what I eat in a day slash me cleaning my living room and I also cleaned the majority of my house like my restrooms and stuff but I just didn't film that part just because like that would have been really time consuming um but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to me I would love to have you around and I guess I'll see you on the next video bye guys